we keep hearing about biodiversity sometimes many of us do not understand what is a biodiversity and biodiversity conservation and then what is matlab how is that a biodiversity conservation is very relevant to the river rejuvenation whether it's a ganga river or any other river so one i would like to very briefly know what is a biodiversity uh, how is bi biodiversity conservation very relevant to river uh, ganga and the thirdly how is the biodiversity status of river ganga in different stretches very briefly it's about health of the river so when you look at the indicators you know you need to know you know what kind of species are available now when you are talking about biodiversity it covers flora and fauna it's not just the animals but also it's a, it's a plant life that is available in the in the river river system now uh, for us biodiversity conservation and river conservation are both uh, two different uh, two sides of the same coin you know unless you keep your river healthy biodiversity cannot be conserved and unless there is biodiversity you cannot call the river river healthy so that's that's kind of the interlinkage and the interconnectedness of the conservation uh, of biodiversity and the river that we are talking about now in terms of ganga it's it's unique we we all know about it it's not just because we have uh, majority of the dolphin population in this region uh, ganga river dolphins available in ganga and its tributaries more than 80% of the ganga river dolphins are found in the ganga system uh, ghadiyals if you look at it you know it's about 90% of the global population of the ghadiyals are found in the ganga and its system and for instance the chambal chambal is the most important habitat for uh, the the, the ghadiyal so from that perspective it's very important but what what makes our system unique is also the lower organisms you know uh, you know dg uh, presented in his slide you know there are more than 230 plus species of fish that is available so it's this complex interaction between the higher uh, strata of animals and the lower one which maintains that food uh, system and also the nutrient cycling you know which is very very important for a river system to be uh, to be healthy so therefore you know like we are talking about you know water quality is one aspect but uh, you know we we are hearing about environmental flows of so maintenance of thresholds of flows will be very very important uh, in terms of uh, ensuring that uh, the the indigenous species Uh, return to their native uh, places so that's that's another initiative that we are hearing from uh, uh, director general and also the other speakers that flow is also very very important for ganga and uh, its uh, tributaries but uh, i just want to add one more thing you know in our work what we have found is also that biodiversity also helps connect people you know the riparian uh, you know because there is a lot of livelihood that is uh, linked to fisheries in the in the ganga system so the moment you uh, put in a system to manage the fisheries in a sustainable way it also ensures that there is sustainable livelihoods to the people and that brings and strengthen the river people connect again both rajiv sir and uh, ashok sir talked about that that connect is also important we are getting people to volunteer to be the champions and custodians of dolphins the, the dolphin mitras you know where they are actually coming forward to so i am saying that you know there are various aspects why biodiversity is important it's not just for ecology but also from a people and the livelihood point of view as well because it ensures that the services and functions of the rivers uh, continue to flow unlimited and unobstructed